Welcome to 3 by 2 the show that takes three topics and throws them at two geeks. Kia ora, I'm Lars D, the pseudo-Kiwi, coming to you from 3 by 2 Studios West. And I am your darkness that has come over. Or the illustrious Patrick M, coming to you from 3 by 2 Studios, Ohio. And I th- hopefully we actually fixed the internet glitches. Maybe. Because we've had incessant numbers of them. Yes, beyond reasonable in this fucking episode already. Yeah, it's been two hours trying it's trying to get this episode rolling. Pretty much. That's how bad. So let's, without further ado... Ooh, fucking hours. Go for it. Topics. In this I episode, we're going to talk about things about Halloween and holidays that are coming up in the end of the year. So topic one is going to be all about the Halloween franchise. And what one, which one have you seen? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Halloween 3, the only one that does not have Michael Myers in it. Of course, we're going to probably also cover some other long-running franchises and how they just keep going down hill yep and then we're going to talk about the laziness of halloween costumes and how cosplayers yes look at this look at that fucking useless fucking costume (laughs) okay screw it i'm getting rid of this and then on topic three we're going to cover basically since we're at the business end of the year we're going to talk about the lead up to T-Day and your favorite holiday. Do not say it. Do not say it. That holiday does not exist till after October 31st. No matter what those cunt bag fucktard shit stacks over at fucking Dollar General say. Who have literally I can't walk in that store without running into a fucking Santa in October or September for that matter. Fucking fuckers. Okay. T- should I tell you how I really feel? No, I say yeah, please. <laughs> Go on. I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to get some popcorn over here and just, no. Oh, I sank. Hold on. Let me <laughs> adjust myself. Okay, now adjust myself. Okay. And then adjust your chair. <laughs> and I'm going to figure myself. Okay. Okay. Let's Alrighty. Continue. So topic let's one. Stuck. Topic one is the Halloween franchise primarily. We're going to talk about other scary movies as well. But Halloween, is, since um, the latest Halloween, ep- uh, sorry, the latest um, chapter in the Halloween franchise, which oddly is a direct sequel to the first one, cutting all the other fucking Halloweens out. Is drum roll Halloween? Yeah, wait, oh, this, this is like the third or fourth iteration of the movie or something. Yeah, well, actually, um, so uh, for those who aren't familiar with the franchise, uh, this is the 40th anniversary of the Halloween franchise because the first episode or the first movie in a series came out in 1978, directed um, by John Carpenter, uh, which kind of funny because i work with a guy named john carpenter well we won't hold that against you or him yeah um well, i'm feeling horny uh, the, okay, the general, never mind the general story what? the general premise of, the, of this study <laughs> is that um on halloween uh basically young michael myers murders his sister his older sister with the butcher's knife Stabby, stabby. yep he gets sent away forever basically to a mental hospital um, so many years later, he um, basically escapes, comes back to Haddonfield, Illinois, where uh, where his um, turns out his baby sister Lori um, has now grown up, and he comes back home to stabby stabby her. Um, yep. But of course, he ends up stabby stabbing other people and um, wearing that crazy fucking mask. That <coughs> I'm look, I'm telling you what, man, I don't give a shit what you say, but look, there isn't there aren't many scary movies that actually scare me. But whenever I hear the theme to Halloween playing, oh my god! I'm just like, okay, I'm lo- like, I'm looking for, let like, me make sure, like, I'm looking around me, making like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. And of course, you haven't seen it, so you, I mean, you're you're familiar with it from a pop culture standpoint. Uh, and yeah, of course, pretty much. Of course, yeah, Halloween Three: Season of the Witch um, was the only uh, movie in the franchise to not ha- feature Michael Myers as a um, as a character. Yeah. Um, of course, that's the only one I've seen. So let's go to back to two, which is basically a direct sequel that literally starts at the end from the end of the first movie, continues the second movie is literally the same night. Yeah, same night, carrying on stabby stabby some more people. Um, of course, uh, reacts the first plot, except that they already know that there's a psycho stabbing people. Uh huh. And they don't call out the national fucking guard for this one. Seriously. That. Um, yeah, I did some reading actually, uh, so a little bit of research on the on the Halloween franchise itself, or the story of uh, the character of Michael Myers, and and what John Carpenter had actually envisioned, in, sorry, envisioned uh, for him <coughs> as a character. Um, 
basically, you know, it's your standard uh, horror movie teen slasher type of thing. This guy is some sort of supernatural baddie guy, you know, supernatural boogeyman that that can't be killed and blah blah blah. I think it's so. Even- basically, every other every other '80s slasher flick character: Jason, <laughs> Freddy, all them. Yeah, Hillary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Let's not insult. Let's not insult them by including Trump in there, though. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Um, the other thing it was just funny, uh, and to even to make it even scarier. Okay, like I said, I, I don't get scared by watching Hall- uh I don't get scared by watching um, uh, the Friday Thirteenth or the Nightmare on Elm Street movies or or the Scream movies. All those, you know, all those slasher movies. Well, although technically, um, Scream was a '90s um, uh, slasher movie, not an '80s one, um, but. What scares me even more is that mask. And the reason why it scares me isn't because it's a, a white mask with a blank stare. It scares me because it's a mask of fucking William Shatner. Yeah. In other words, a white mask with a, bl- a blank stare. Wait, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Which one is that? Is, is that? is that um is that Michael Myers or is that William Shatner? Yes. yes. <laughs> so so basically at this point when when next time we talk uh, next uh, your next Treknicity episode is going to be why Michael Myers and William Shatner's Kirk are pretty much the same character. I was going to say I wonder if um I wonder if somebody A lot of stabbing of young girls if yeah. the in there. <laughs> just, what? <laughs> just, a just a different kind of stabbing. <laughs> But you know, okay, like, that I, was wrong. I, I enjoy, I really enjoy uh, horror movies to some some degree, but not in, in insofar as I like watching them be- to get scared. I just wa- like watching them because I want to see what fucked up shit they come up with. I mean, when you look at um, the uh, Friday the Thirteenth series, um, the first movie, and, and, and like fucking, I don't know why I'm even saying spoiler alert, but because if you haven't seen it in forty fucking years since it's been here, well then, too bad. Here's the spoiler. It's a pack of horny teenagers getting chopped up like dog food. There you go. Continue. Yep. So, uh, in the first Friday the 13th movie, it turns out uh, it is not Jason who's the killer. It is his mother. Um, and that got, And remember, that got Drew Barrymore killed in the first Scream movie. Uh-huh. 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 Because Wes Craven's that smart. Yes, he is. Also, he knows how to reskin a cat. So, go ahead. Right. And, and I'm sure we'll see that in the next movie. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh. Speaking of pussy. Yeah, I was like, mine's gone out somewhere. Maybe, she, that, maybe she's gone out to get reskinned. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. Um, so, um, second movie, turns out it is. Now it is uh, Jason wearing a pillow a pillowcase over his head or a sack or something uh, with holes cut in. And then we don't see him pick up the iconic mask until, what, the end of um, number two or beginning of three or something like that? Who, who knows? Either way, Kep- Kevin Bacon isn't getting impaled in that one, so meh. Yeah, true. And then the fourth movie is the same thing. Fifth movie, it's not Jason, but some other asshole. Six movies, it's Jason. And then it's Jason, Jason, Jason. And guess what? It's the same plot over and over. They just find new and creative ways, like smashing somebody to death on a tree with a beanbag or taking somebody, ripping them in two, or when they get him into space, sticking their head in nitroglycerin, smash him against the counter. That's always fun. Oh, that's not cool. nitroglycerin. Um what shit? I can't remember what the shit is. Anyways, uh-huh. I'll, I'll help me, asshole. I can't remember shit. <laughs> Liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen. Yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, like... dip, <laughs> my brain is completely blank. Stick some liquid nitrogen, smash his fucking head. That's pretty much it. Well, hey, remember, um, Nightmare on you... Elm Street did the same thing. The first one was really good. The second one was really gay. Then the third was like joke, 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 joke. Except the West Craven's pretty good and comes back with West Craven's new nightmare. Boom. Back up, and then back down. Well, and we'll, we'll see what happens. They remade it or some shit, but yeah. who cares? We'll see what happens with this new Halloween movie. Spent since um, since John Carpenter is involved or is involved <clears> with the production, uh, I believe as an executive producer. Um, so at least he'll have some guiding influence I've heard on it. Mediocre that. things so far. Well, of course, it's a fucking horror. It's a slasher flick. I mean, I mean, how many good slasher flicks are there? Really well, in ones. comparison to the original. And whether it really delivers. They have a few good... There's a few good ones. Usually the best horror movies seem to be the ones with the original premise. Um, Quiet Place, I guess, was the big one. Get Out was a really good thriller slash horror. Um, Blair Witch Project spawned five gazillion stupid paranormal activities. The first paranormal activity was apparently tolerable. It was decent. It was, then, it was, it was, it was, as, as its concept goes, it was good. 
The first saw had some tension before a slight for basically just a torture porn flick. Yeah. Well, and it's still a torture porn flick. That's all it is, basically, over and over again. Yeah. Again, when you do give something new, something where people don't know exactly what they're getting, that's when you get good horror. <clears throat> right. When you don't know really what to expect. I mean, I remember, um, like, speaking of torture porn movies, um, I remember going into the theater and Twilight? seeing, seeing Hostel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. Uh I still remember. I remember all. Just speaking of Twilight, I still remember the um, uh, all the jokes that came out when the um, when they did the two part finale, the the Breaking Dawn ones, and of course they came out with the uh, Twilight Breaking Wind. Yeah. <laughs> and the guy's like, he's like, oh, I'm just, I'm so full. I'm, oh God, I shouldn't have eaten that Mexican guy. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, um, the 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 general idea is, of course, he's right. He's right. His cards, I can see it. He's writing one of his fucking index cards. You fucker. Um, we're just gonna keep, as we're ta- as long as we're talking about Twilight. Let's just hold this up. I, I don't okay, know, we're done talking about Twilight. I, I, don't, Fuck that I, shit. I don't know what's funnier the the fact that you wrote that on an index card or you wrote that on an index card with a Crayola marker. Yes, because quality marker. Quality, yeah. Quality. Come on, where's the, you want? Come on, paid sponsor, paid sponsor, paid sponsor, paid sponsor. Fuck that. Okay, we're not getting paid sponsor. Why the fuck would Crayola fucking sponsor this fucking fuck fest? <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, fucking cunt shits. Fucking cunt shits. <laughs> wow, that's just, yeah. Okay. I, I, I think we just yeah. I think we just kind of uh, just you know skewed the fucking tr- the train off the track on this one. But um, <laughs> let let you know. Obviously, uh, we're gonna see what see what these or movies are like. Or fuck off the bed. One of the two. <sighs> that one too and so we're gonna go on to topic two here we're just gonna fucking ham fist it right into this one because um you actually made a really good point during this, fisting. During the, yes, you anyway <laughs> <laughs> you made a really good point during the last attempt to, to record this episode about cosplayers so so mm. we're gonna go into topic two which is basically talking about how lazy uh how lazy costumers have got with um doing halloween costumes you know and again you know you see cosplayers putting a lot more into these designs and implementations i mean literally they craft their costume piece by piece i mean the perfect example of a cosplayer the generic version would be the 501st legion yep literally a whole battalion a whole legion of people that have built their own fucking armor and it's so good that Lucasfilm pretty much said, okay, you're official-ish. Yep. I mean, without being official Disney or Lucasfilm stuff, they are they are, you they're, know, they're, they're about as close to, to official as you can get. Without being actually owned. Right. That's I mean, but again, so it's it's the passion of these people putting their um, putting their looks together. You know, uh, a lot of it's anime, uh, high fantasy, sci-fi, uh, video games, all that stuff. They're they're fantastic. You go, I mean, I remember when we were when we were kids and we were doing Even that, those the fucking trick tricky tards. Wait, yeah. what? You mean those Kirk Loving Spock suckers? Yes, Kirk Loving Spock suckers. I Whoa. am one of those Kirk Loving Spock suckers. Thank you very much. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Continue. So <laughs> when we were kids, you know, th- th- there was always a challenge of putting together a decent costume at, at Halloween, and you just kind of made whatever you could from what you had, or or you went to the store and you bought a shitty plastic <clears> mask. <throat> well, well, now it's kind of you can get be- you can get better, I quote better uh, shitty options, plastic stuff um, with um, at, at Walmart and things of that nature, and of course even uh, even Party City uh, switches over to Halloween City during the month of October. Um, so you get some halfway decent uh, options, but nothing fantastic, nothing really, really good. Um, it's the people. But nobody who... tries anymore. No, well, they, a few they don't. people try. I mean, I, I've growing, having my kids grow up, I've made sure that they've had awesome. This one year, I made a Lego brick. Basically, took a box and just crafted a a two by three brick out of it. It looked fucking beautiful. Wow, is that was that for uh, was that for your son or your daughter? I forget who wore it. I think one of them wore it, and the other one wore it, and it ah. was it was pretty restrictive because it's literally a box that they got their arms in. Pretty much, yeah. But still, you know, pretty cool. But the thing is, that was making the effort. You know, yes, it, it might have been simple, but it was making the effort to be to make something unique. Um, now you look at you know uh, well, the reason why I thought of this when we were talking about uh, topic ideas for this episode um, is because you see. 
You know, they, they basically go down to the, well, you can be a sexy witch, or you can be a sexy nurse, or you can, can be, I be a, a sexy witch, or you can be a sexy secretary or whatever. I'm like, no, you can't. I don't think you could be a, oh my God, you couldn't even be a fucking, <laughs> you couldn't even be a sexy carpet, man. Fuck. <laughs> yes, I could. <laughs> you see what I have to put up with? This is my, this is my, my hetero life mate. Who who has been um, and always shall be my friend. Well, except for that. You can one always time. you can always start glitching the fucking video again. Of course, it's, it's not glitching it's, now it's because you motherfucker, it's you motherfucker, motherfucker, you motherfucker, motherfucker, glitching the motherfucking motherfucker. One motherfucker. Yeah. One motherfucker. One motherfucker. <laughs> no, no. So I'm not gonna say it. I just I, I every time I see that, every time um, uh, he starts saying motherfucker like that, I always think of the um, uh, during the establishing <laughs> scenes of. Uh, Jay and Silent Bob strike back, and uh, you know, go from uh, from uh, baby Jay going fuck, fuck, fuck to uh, to grown up Jay standing next to his hetero life mate Silent Bob outside the the uh, quick stop, you know, and they're singing the uh, fuck, 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 one of the fuck, one of the noise, 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 you know. But continue. Oh, oh I'm, I'm I'm, no, I'm just waiting for your waiting for your uh, your exciting little uh, quip uh, of what you're gonna put on your fucking card. Okay, you keep going. Oh, oh it'll okay. be a while. I can keep going. Oh, great. Okay, so yes. you keep going, motherfucker. Keep going. Keep no. going. Yeah. Go, yeah. go harder, yeah. harder, yeah. faster. Yeah. Oh yeah, just do it, bitch. <laughs> oh fuck yeah, just, fuck it, fuck that shit. Just imagine. Oh, fuck yeah. Mister Spock was gay. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That is illogical. You've offended me. <laughs> Uh, that's gonna, you know, that's gonna fucking live with you for the rest of your fucking life. You realize that, right? I'm never gonna let you live that down. The Mister Spock is gay, and also the um, uh, the dude. I did an entire thing. I spent an, an hour or two doing an entire audio thing called "I Fuck the Dog." I don't think that's the worst thing. I don't think Mister Spock is gay is the worst thing I've ever done. True, and of course, he makes a fucking um, uh, paper airplane with index cards. Great. Yes. <laughs> And that's all the time we have for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we're talking about uh, we're you know if you want to rejoin us for the rest of the episode we're we're talking about uh, costumes and how fucking people also. Are okay. You know, so it, one thing we like to see is, is I, I actually like seeing the the convention stuff. You know, with these people going to these different cons, comic cons, and stuff like that. Um, because you see the the cosplayers who really put in the effort to make these really cool. Um, outfits and these costumes and stuff. I mean, it's not about the sexiness of it. It's about the the detail and the time they put into making this shit look good. All the sexiest is a bonus because I need something new for this bank bank, but that's beside the point. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, uh-huh. okay. <laughs> so, um, with that being said, let's shoehorn ourselves into topic three because you know it's that time of year. Yes, it's beginning to look a lot like fucking Halloween, fuckers. Stop putting out that shit for Dece- that holiday in December. And I'm not using the word because I refuse to use the word until at least November. What word is that? What word is it? Say it. Say it, bitch. Say it. Fuck you. Say Fuck it. You. Say it, bitch! I mean, <laughs> I mean, seriously, I can understand if you're a big box and you have a section of your store like the Walmarts do where they're getting their garden stuff out, so they start stocking their decorations for that holiday I'm not mentioning. But it's mostly out of the way, and they won't start rolling stuff out till they're trying to clear Halloween stuff, because let's be honest, Thanksgiving, there ain't much. You get a few, you throw a cornucopia, some brown deck, brown and orange decoration stuff out, people buy a few things, and then it's red, and then you're hitting Black Friday five minutes later. Yeah. Um, now, just for those who, who <laughs> might actually be watching this episode... The, the holiday that he is refusing to talk about is is actually Star Trek into Darkness Day. <laughs> is that is that the same day as Pluto Nash Day? <laughs> I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the worst movie? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 hang on. Isn't 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 Eddie Murphy in, in that in that really shitty sci fi comedy movie? That's, yes, that was Star Trek in Darkness, right? <laughs> uh, um, yeah. yeah. And Khan, is, but Khan is not, because there is only one movie that has Khan in it. One fucking movie. What? That was Star Trek Four, right? 
Yeah, that one. <laughs> Star Trek War, we fuck whales. <laughs> Star Trek, Star Trek Four, save the whales. But anyways, uh, yeah. So, you know, we're down at the business end of this of the season. Um, Halloween is upon us in a week, a little over a week. And mm. of course, you know, we're it, that's really when we start kicking into the right after Halloween is is when we kick into autumn officially. I mean, we build up to Halloween with autumn, but we kick into the into gear and we get prepped for for the big uh, the big T day. Um, and as you, you said, can say it, thanks, you can say Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving is the next holiday. What, what and about, it's, what and it's not the holy crap. I was looking, I was just still picking up random school supplies for the beginning of the year. And I'm already tripping over a fucking Santa note to dollar dollar general. Fuck you. Fuck you. And fuck you. Also go fuck yourself. Fuck you sideways. You shit bag, cock licking ass mastering. Fuck titties. Shut your fucking face, Uncle Fucker. No? I try to be original. You just have to start the bad shit. By the way, I, I definitely remember when we post this up, when this episode posts and the Twitter, I need to make sure I send to Dollar Gen. I make, need to tag Dollar General in the tag and make sure that they know that they are fucking idiots for fucking subjecting me to having to put Halloween masks on Santas because I refuse to fucking go into the store and not fuck with their shit. <laughs> Seriously, you should take pictures of that shit. This is great. I want to yep. see this. So you're right. I should be documenting this. Yeah. It'll so awesome. uh, so yes, the the next episode or so next episode, the next <laughs> next holiday after this is Tom Hanksgiving. I mean Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah. Well, let's make it Tom Hanksgiving because because we're Tom all Hanks. thankful for Tom Hanks. That's right, mm -mm, man. <laughs> even when he, even when he wore fake tits. Oh yeah, booze and buddies. Yes, he wore fake tits. Him and Peter Scolari. Yes, but nobody gives a sh fuck about Peter Scolari. Who? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So you know, I, I mean, actually, I'm I'm going home. I'm going home at Thanksgiving. So this is gonna be fun. I'm gonna see my kid. I'm gonna see my family. I'm gonna do a little bit of gaming. Uh, we'll do a three by two cat. We'll do a Thanksgiving three by two cast. This is yeah. This is where we do. Um, this is where we give each other hand jobs. Yes, because it's the Cause, it's the season of giving. Because we're thankful we're getting something, giving something and getting something. That's right. It's not gay if it's a double Dutch rudder, right? Right. You're touching my dick. I'm touching you're. I'm touching my dick. You're touching your dick. It's not gay. We're not touching each other's dicks. We're touching our own dicks. <laughs> so after that comes the big one, the the one he knows I hate with a passion. Although this year yeah. I am this year I am going to try to to shrieve off the. Uh, the, the the Scrooge mask, and try to embrace the the season. Try. Well, yeah, I embrace the season. Of course, I've moved into a new place because Three by Two Studios Ohio did move since last year. We moved a whole block, four blocks. Half. Yeah, was it four three, blocks? Yeah, three or four. I have to count exactly. Either way, I got to get I used to got to get a new tree and everything for that. But wait a minute, we're talking about that holiday. Fuck. I'm not uh, talking about that holiday anymore. That's but fine. yeah. But well, yeah. Well, that's plans for the future. That's not plans for the present. That is plans for the future. In the distant future, when I will get that item for that holiday at near the end of November. Correct. Because that season does not officially begin until the day after Thanksgiving. Yes. Now, some prep work, getting decorations out, because if you're going to be decorating around, if you're going to be decorating the day after Christmas, you don't want to be waiting through Black Friday to get said decorations. Right. So having us getting some of that stuff out between between Halloween and Thanksgiving is forgivable. But the full push does not start until after Thanksgiving and not on Thanksgiving, because seriously, who wants the fuck wants to go shopping for that holiday on Look, Chris, I went with somebody uh, last year. Thanksgiving Day. Last year, I went with somebody to uh, Black Friday sales that started that evening, Thanksgiving evening. And I was like, no fucking way. Oh, fine. I'll go with you because why not? But that was fucking stupid. I, I wholeheartedly disagree with that bullshit. Peep, uh, there is one day, one day out of the year that you should be able to go home, have a fucking meal that you that is made up of all the foods that you don't, you shouldn't have during the year. Or having small amounts and more meat, eat more meat, and just do it. I mean, just have that meal. 
you know, that, that time with your family, your it should be the time when you can fucking commiserate, you know, because you have, have to be with your family. Yeah, exactly. Especially your family. Although my, yeah, my, yeah. yeah. Although you no, your family, dude, yeah. your motherfucking family, uh, fuck them fuckers. My, my family fuck out my family. here, fuck my everybody. Fam- my family back home are, are decent. I can deal with them. My family out here, different story. Um, I don't deal with them very much. I mean, I love them. They're my family, but I just stay the fuck away from everybody because, for the most part, it is drama, 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 drama. Fuck it. So, uh, and that's why, and that's why, and on a side note, that's why we're doing this recorded because we can't stream live. Thank God, actually, probably. But anyways, so you're welcome. <laughs> that is all the time we have for this fucking episode. This yeah, has been three shit. by two. I'm Laz D. The Pseudo Kiwi. And I'm the illustrious Patrick M. Ow. Fuck. Yeah, huh? See, that's what you get. That's the punishment you get, motherfucker. All right, people. We'll see you in in two weeks. Have a wonderful Halloween. And peace out, motherfuckers.